Behind a discreet cream painted door, the boutique hotel suite vacant, but a full maids occupying room four. Maria, kitchen bound, has a dishwashing feeling frenzy. The lounge lady maid makes moves with Master Henry, sucking up dust, then cushion plumping. Another maid strips linen, then makes beds, pulling up down duvets. I'm fussing over real fur blankets, working together free in one room, number four. All under 18, and me. So I make the chemicals clean, glass stuff, lime scale crust, soap grease, and shift the shit before washing down walls, polishing tiles with towels discarded, interrupted by water falling, the shower raining down, as the concierge just turned the tap, making his last day jibe. The hoard. The surge begins, tripping down the newly mobbed stairs, bypassing the floor in between, floor one, and the grand entrance where Shelley does clean the 20 floor conveniences to the ground floor cupboard, hidden behind the gallery walls. But the cupboard is clearly bare. So I shift pace and grace the escalator, climbing up two floors for one reason, to locate the elusive machine. But again, no luck there. How far and for how long might I travel out of my way just to clean the floor mess? I return to my base, a hidden cupboard with a hoard of ancient equipment as befits a museum of a certain age. And I do have a brush with st such stiff bristles, the sweepings do form a dust cloud, propelling the dirt forward to be trapped in my black bag.